What's going on, everybody? We got to talk about these banks. And the question is, are banks stealing your money? And yes, that is the answer. Yes, banks are stealing your money. But it's one of those necessary evils that I hate to deal with. But yes, banks are stealing your money. And let me tell you why. If you put your money in a savings account, you leave it there for six months, a hundred dollars. If you look and see how much interest bank done paid you on a hundred dollars, you haven't even made a hundred and one dollars. That's how small the interest is that banks pay you for putting your money in a savings account. The sad part about it is that banks are making millions and billions of dollars off of you. And you not taking advantage of all of that wealth coming in. I'm going to tell you how. If you put $10,000 in a savings account that you're trying to save for a rainy day, your kids' college, whatever. The blessing is that it's safe in a bank because a bank has to report and has to keep a money trail. So you, the blessing is your money is safe in a bank. That's a wonderful thing. The bad thing is that the bank is taking your $10,000. The bank is going to give it to Tom, Dick, and Harry so that they can get an auto loan, um, a business loan, a personal loan, whatever it is. The bank is going to take your $10,000, give it to Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Tom, Dick, and Harry are going to take that money, and they're going to pay the bank back 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12% interest. Now, how is it that the bank is making 12% interest off the money you put in the savings account, but yet they paying you less than 1% interest off the money that you put in the savings account. Now, listen to me closely. You put $10,000 in your savings account. The bank gave it to Tom, Dick, and Harry, charging them 12, 11, 10, 9, 8% interest. Meanwhile, they using your money to make money, but they not giving it back to you, putting it in your savings account so that your interest rate could be higher that they paying you for using your money. Now, I know it sounds complicated, but stay with me. The point I'm trying to make is the bank is using your money to get rich and giving you nothing in return. That's why I use that's why I keep as minimal amount of money as I can in my savings account. I have six bank accounts, but they all don't have a lot of money in it because I keep 99% of my money all in investments, all in stocks. You know what I mean? Just common stocks. Coca-Cola, McDonald's, you name it. Uh, I even still got GE stock and GE is way down. But I have money in a lot of companies and they all, besides GE, they all pay interest every three months, a healthy interest that I can live off of, that I don't have to clock in anymore thanks to my investments when I was younger. I had, I can ret I retire when I was 34 years old, thank God. So it's one of those situations where, you know, your money will work for you better if you put it in an investment that will pay you more interest on the money that you don't work for already. Banks, they're not going to make you rich. Nobody I know has ever had a savings account and say I put a hundred grand in my savings account and now I'm worth 28 million. I don't know one person that ever said that, that ever did that. And I don't know one person that that has ever happened to because they don't. Banks do not get, make you rich because you open up a savings account. Now, banks done got clever with trying to take your money, and now they got money market accounts that you could open up with them, but then you got to put a bigger deposit down to make more interest, and you shouldn't have to do that. You should be able to put $300 in and then make money off that $300 to the day you die. With investments, you do that. You know what I mean? Johnson & Johnson been paying me since the day I invested many years ago. Coca-Cola been paying me since the day I invested many years ago. I mean, when I say paying me, I mean every three months, faithfully, that money's been coming in. You know what I mean? I don't even have to worry about it. I, auto, I automatically get an email saying that the money directly deposited into my account. Now, I do take the money out. I flip it and put it back into my investments. But the point I'm trying to make is they pay. I put my money in one of my banks. I'm not going to tell you who my banks are, but I have six bank accounts. And I put money in one of my banks. If I put $1,000 in there, I guarantee you, 
Six months later, it's going to be $1,000 in there with some change. I don't want change. I want dollars. All right. I want money that can move some mountains. So banks are, I don't know. They, they just an institution that makes money off poor people because poor people are the ones putting their money in the savings account thinking that one day it's going to survive enough for them to retire, which it won't because with inflation, your thousand dollars a day ain't gonna be worth nothing ten years from now. It's gonna be worth less, and thirty years from now, it's gonna be worth even more or less. And if the bank ain't keeping up with inflation when it comes to paying you over two and a half percent interest on the money you got in the bank, you'll never get rich. So that's the problem with it, you know. Now the good thing about having a savings account, I'm gonna tell y'all the good thing. The good thing about having a savings account is that banks use that to determine who they're going to give money to. So if you got a full-time job that you've been on for years and you got a nice little savings, some money in the bank, over $1,000 that's been there for a very long time, you got a nice little savings, when you need an auto loan or when you need a business loan or when you need a personal loan, banks quickly will come in and say, hey, you know, you've been good to us. You've been having your money in the account. You know, we're going to do this and that and third for you if you got good credit. You know, even if you got shaky credit, they may give you something, especially if you've been with the bank a long time and you kept a lot of money in your savings account for a long period of time. Now, they made all the money off of you, but yet they still want you to have the money in the bank that you put in, that, that, that you put in so that they can give you money that they should already gave you just because your money been in there so long. So it's one of those situations. You know, it's good to have money in the bank if you need money from the bank. But if you're trying to get rich from the bank, it ain't no way you're going to do it. Unless you get a business loan or a personal loan and you use that money to flip it and use that money to make more money for you while you're still on your full-time job. But no... Sadly, banks, no, they are stealing your money. You know, they are not trying to make the common man rich because he opened up a savings account. So the best thing to do is what I preach 24-7, invest, invest, invest. Find a good company, Coca-Cola, Young Brands, Johnson & Johnson, Bristol Myers, Pfizer. Find a good company that you can afford and just stuff all your money into it. And they pay interest. I mean, you know, they pay interest and, you know, they pay out every three months, every quarter. So you can either collect that money and spend it or you can use that money to re-up and keep buying more stock until you at a million or until you at two million or whatever your goal is and then you can start living off the interest never live off your principal and you can be rich forever all right thank y'all for watching tune in please subscribe and stay tuned for more all right yes banks are stealing your money but it's okay you can still get rich even so and you can be even wiser now that you know this information all right Please subscribe, share this with anybody who's broke that want to get rich. And thank y'all for watching. Tune in later, and I will always have more. Peace.